Listen, bases loaded, bottom of the ninth. I want to talk about the 21st one. And the whole video, I'm really going to smile because when I tell you guys that a 9 to 5 saved lives, before we get into the guy, his name is Mike. I think it's Ade Labu, whatever his name is. Um, no respect towards his name, especially after doing the 21st one with little RT. But I want to talk about this guy right here. His name is La Mike. Now, he also does the 21st one, and he's still doing it. He didn't learn his lesson. But the baby actually stole 20000 from him. He came on the show and walked off because it got too cheesy. Now, before we start this video, you got to stop and think. Why do people want to watch a 21st one? And I'm going to tell you why they want to watch a 21st one, because they don't realize that it's already... 100,000 first one if you're black. Now, I know a lot of people around the world watch my content, but you got to understand all around the world, I'm going to keep it G. Black men, we drop like flies from the favelas of Brazil all the way down to Haiti, all the way to Africa, all the way back to America. Let it breathe. We drop like flies at a picnic. When you're melanated and you make it back home, you really need to thank God for the day when you wake up and you need to thank God for making it back home because when you go outside, it's really GTA if you're black in America. So if we're dying at a rapid rate and we're going to prison at a rapid rate and men are turning zesty at a rapid rate, a 21st one is an understatement for us. It's more than 21st one. You guys have to understand. Now, this is the duel of Mike. He said his, you know, grandparents gave him the money. He said YouTube. And I'm going to actually put the, um, the video in the description when, after I finish this video because he was crying. He said when the baby took his money, he felt worthless. You got to understand the, the baby needs your money. That's why he did the show. A lot of these streamers are taking, a fan, they're taking advantage of the fact that most of these rappers are not making money. So you could get people like The Game on a Vitaly show. Matter of fact, Quavo, he agreed to show up on a Vitaly show not to get off topic and he didn't show up. And Vitaly had a good point. He said that's what black people do. And it's true. A lot of melanated musician artists... Um, they're not getting paid and they're willing to do these streams and they're willing to go on these IRL shows, but that's only because they're not getting money. If they were getting money, like when they first started, you will not see the, the baby on the 20 verse one. You see them on the 20 verse one because these people are really not getting money. Now, with that being said, the baby, he was on the show and he said that he liked to eat farts. Really perverted, really nasty, and they kept talking about it, and the baby said, you know what, this is not for me. They got this man blindfolded. Listen, I keep telling you, man, I see, I didn't know, but Mr. Hotspot said, the kids are the one that really give you the views. I didn't know that. That was new news to me, but this is him right here crying on the 21st one after the baby walked out and took his 20000 No refund. My man said, YouTube is all I got. I keep telling you about these YouTubers, man. When YouTube is all they got, they, they, they have to do what's trending. And I don't know who started the 20 verse one. I don't know who was the originator. I can't tell you, but everybody's doing it right now. It, it gets the most views because you got to understand for all freaky guys out there, if you got 20 women versus one man, they're like, oh yeah. But really in our culture, and I only can speak for our culture in America because I live here in America, it's, 20 verse, it's more than 20 verse one. And I talked about this on the last video. I'm going to talk about this again. It's really at least a half a million to one. See, it doesn't matter. A black woman can live in the hood. Unless it's a jealous boyfriend, she's good in the hood. It's the men who are not good in the hood. A black woman could go from Marcy Projects all the way to another projects, and guys going to holler. They going, you feel me? And if they don't get butt hurt for getting rejected, she good. Women could go anywhere that they want to go. They say life resembles chess on a chessboard the queen can move all around the chessboard the king got to move step by step now this is a guy right here mike i think his name is Ade Labu. um that's that's what he goes by on youtube now when he first started he wasn't getting any traction he started doing the 21st one then he started getting a million views you guys have to understand so a youtuber if they get a million views it's like doing crack they can't stop they can't help themselves they got a million views that you got to understand youtube to all future content creators, YouTube is not a salary. 
If you're a salary worker and you make a half a mil, you're going to make that half a mil whether you work overtime or whether you don't work overtime. If you're a salary worker and just say you have a $2 million contract or $2 million situation, you're going to make $2 million whether you call out, whether you show up, or whether you work overtime. You're still going to get that $2 million. With YouTube, you're only as good as your last view. This is why I keep my 9 to 5 because you can have a hot month on YouTube. You can make 50000 on YouTube. And then if you get accustomed to a $50,000 lifestyle, guess what? And you start racking up all these bills, you can go from 50000 a month to 2000 a month on YouTube. YouTube, it, it, it depends on the views. Now, if you can keep up the views, and it's not even fair because some of these streamers, a lot of people don't know, but some people get four times more for every 1K view when you're really working with YouTube directly. A lot of people don't know that. That's a gem. Let it breathe. But with that being said, this is why I'm making this video. They, this dude, Mike, Everybody talking about Drake, they not like us, they not like us. This dude, Mike, I do ballet. I think that's how you say it. If not, it is what it is because there's no respect for what he's doing. Now, with that being said, I first realized about the 21st one and I popped the balloon from the dude Aaron the Plumber um, that started a fake GoFundMe and he still have yet to get the GoFundMe because he's a fraud. So this is Lil RT. Lil RT is about 11. We saw him on the casting that show. Okay, it's a given. I know you're probably thinking, yeah, it's a given. So Lil RT is young. His parents is throwing him out. Um, they don't care. His parents don't care about him. Why would a parent? And the parents don't really care about these kids. I'm just going to keep it G. Look, look at all these little kids on this show around a grown man. Each and every one of their parents don't care about them. A lot of these parents... They can't be famous, so they say, okay, I'm going to see the potential in my kids, and we're going to push our kids to be famous. It's the Beyonce dad syndrome. It's a Michael Jackson dad syndrome. They're going to push their kids to do what they can never do in life. It's sad. But some parents roll like that. I don't have kids. So, hey, what can you do? Tomato, tomato, let it breathe. But little RT, and this this was creepy because at 21st one, that it says 20 girls versus little RT. So why you got guys in it? So why are they little boys also coming up to Lil RT and the dude Mike Adubale, whatever his name is, he said, oh, well, you can hang out with Lil RT. It was weird. When Lil RT saw a dude walk up, he like, yo, what's this? You guys have to understand this 21st one is trending, but it's going, it's going to come to an end. Mark my words. I'm, listen, I love to prognosticate. I love to tell you things before they happen. It's going to come to an end. It's cheesy. And the baby took in that man 20 bands. At the end of the day, that's foul and it's trifling. And he's not from Charlotte. He's not from the hood. He's an actor just like Aubrey. Meet the Grams. Now, in this 20 verse one, I'm not going to play too much of it, but Little Girls is asking little RT questions. You guys can go watch it for yourself if you want to watch it. I mean, it's, it's, it's really disgusting. And he turned his comments off because he, knew, he already knew that people was going to have something to say. Now, this is why I love TikTok. Because at the end of the day, TikTok things go viral. TikTok is like the new news. But everybody on TikTok like, yo, this is disgusting and it's out of control. But people don't care. When they get a little YouTube bag and they get used to YouTube paying, what happens is they like, oh, we got to we gotta do whatever's trending. Listen, and I'm telling all you YouTubers out there, listen, just be original. If you got a nine to five. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm breaking it down because I always break down. When you see me putting people up that I block on a comment post, I'm showing you how to live a stress-free life. You got some people that really debate with people in Iowa. Like, shout out to Iowa. You got people, you, you, you're in a comment section, you're debating with a guy that lives all the way on the other side of the map. Imagine that. You're not living life because you're debating with a guy that lives in a hidden bunker. So when I show you guys how to block people, don't debate, set the record straight, I'm showing you how to live a stress-free life on YouTube because a lot of people don't realize, but a lot of people be breaking down on YouTube. People really be begging for donations. I'm not starting this live until I get a cash app. I'm not starting this live until I get a PayPal. People really be breaking down on YouTube because the YouTube check is designed to make you a crackhead. Once you become a crackhead and you get a taste of, wow, I made 20000 I made 8000 And listen, you got to understand, without YouTube, some people never made 8000 in a month. 
A lot of people talk about making six figures. You got to understand after taxes, if you make it six figures, your checks are about 10, 11,000. You guys have to understand some people never made 10, 11,000 in a lifetime in one month. So when you never made that at KFC, when you never made that at McDonald's, when you never made that at the car wash, and then you come to YouTube and YouTube gave you 20,000 that you never had, now all the dopamine in your brain is going, wow. Now, as far as this picture, you guys have to understand. I'm not going to show you the actual torque. I screenshotted right when she started to, but this is a little RT. He's a young kid. So you mean to tell me you are a grown man and this is what the industry is pushing. This is what's popular and he doesn't care because he probably give low art and it doesn't make it doesn't make sense. It does listen. A lot of these people really be hoping for 2 million views. But if you make 1 million views off of YouTube, I think I mean well, they're, they're doing back-to-back -back videos, but if you get 1 million views off of YouTube, what happens is, and I'm going to show you how to beat the 1 million view theory. Now, if you get 1 million views off of YouTube, I think YouTube gives you about 12,000. Now, if you do multiple videos like I do, listen, I'm not going to tell you the most I've ever made on YouTube, but if you do three or four videos a day, you can multiply that. So you don't have to hit 1 million views. I'm giving you guys a gem. Now, after the little girl started twerking, which doesn't sound right, but hey, it's being displayed and people got to step up because a lot of these parents, they don't care. They want their kids to go viral. And, and I hate to say, but most parents don't really care about their kids. And I'm going to say that again. Most parents don't care about their kids. They procreate and the baby father skate and they're in survival mode. So with that being said, after the little girl started twerking, Mike was like, Ooh, look at his face. Look at his face. When the little girl started twerking and she had to be about eight years old, when she started twerking, look at his face. This is the industry for you in 4K. See, I can tell you about the industry, but I can show you the industry. And you guys have to understand, this is what parents allow their kids to go to. You guys have to understand, when Beyonce was young, before she became a country singer and bleached her skin, her dad offered her up to the industry as a little girl. These parents don't care. You think Beyonce dad care about Beyonce? Absolutely not. You think Michael Jackson dad cared about Michael Jackson? Absolutely not. You think these parents that let their kids go in these 20 verse 1 that's supposed to be a grown person? Now, before I finish this video, you got to understand, and if you're black, you are blessed. Because if you live the straight and narrow path, and if you go to work, shout to all my Amazon drivers, Uber drivers, delivery drivers, pop up the volume, pop up the volume, warehouse drivers, pop up the volume, pop up the volume. All the street dudes are dying, at least all around the hood. Like, like when I lived in Maryland, um, I used to look at the news in Baltimore City, they average at least three to six hundred murders a year. And we're not talking about the people that are getting leg shots and paralyzed. So you guys have to understand, a lot of people, a lot of men in our culture are dying on a daily. So if they're dying on a daily and you walk the straight and narrow path as you age, just you got to make it to your 30s. It's a beautiful life. When you make it to your 30s, everybody put a 30 in the chat. It's really going to be a million to one. In your 20s, listen, it's already about, I would say, 100K to one, a half a million to one. But if you make it to your 30s, if not your 40s, it's a million to one. So this 21st one, the reason it's so popular is because black men don't realize how good we have it. We live in the best culture. Everybody around us is dying. So if the men are dying at a rapid rate and they're going to prison at a rapid rate and they're zesty at a rapid rate, listen, listen, relax. It's going to be OK. Better days are yet to come. But they don't want you to know that. They don't want you to hear that. That's why they have a global attack on my channel. They want to shut me down. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to be a joy. We actually have the best culture. All you need to do is take a shower, put on some clean shoes with clean shoe strings, and at the end of the day, be confident. We live in the best culture. We are outnumbered by black women. Shout out to black women. Pop up the volume. Pop up the volume. We are outnumbered by them. They will live long. They will live to be 90. They will live to be 80. And the average black man will live to be 21. Make it make sense. Let it breathe.